Thank you. Yeah. Um, anxiety can be crippling. It restricts our personality and it renders us incapable of doing a lot of things, much like giving a talk tonight. But the difficulties are that the methods that are suggested to us to manage it, like exercise, developing new social bonds, and relaxation or meditation, are actually all quite difficult for somebody that suffers with anxiety. So science has shown us that your muscles fatigue at a much quicker rate under anxious periods, and that anxiety can skyrocket when trying to initiate new social developments. Also, relaxation is almost an alien term to anybody that's struggling with anxiety. So you can imagine you're in the gym and the lad next to you is twice your size and his arms are the size of your legs and he could nearly eat you for breakfast. <laughs> and you're getting no development, it's difficult and you know, yoga is no much better, you're in kind of the upside down, upper <laughs> down and, and you're worried about who's behind you trying to see what it looks like and you can imagine bars and nightclubs aren't much better either in terms of, because they could, there's more anxiety inducing than anything else. So, you're kind of trapped and you're wondering, is there any solution? Are you just going to constantly be in a cycle of anxiety and not being able to develop your character? But there is a solution. So if I could ask everybody in the audience to stand up, please. <laughs> Tilt your head to the left. OK, I think this will do. So does it look like, anybody in the back, you might be able to see it, but does it look like I'm on the side of a clip base? <laughs> And I'm climbing up a mountain. Yeah. Okay, so. <laughs> so, climbing is accessible to anyone. <laughs> Anybody can climb, and it has numerous benefits both for the body and mind. Just this week, I climbed with a student who was missing her arm and a blind climber last Tuesday. My point is that every single person in this room can climb. There are so many benefits to climbing, such as the social benefits, where one, you make new friends, but to the friends that you do make, you have to have the full trust because your life is in their hands. Also, there's been um, hospitals in Germany that have used climbing as a method for uh, treating post-traumatic stress disorder, and a study in the States recently has concluded that bouldering, which is indoor climbing, can be used to treat depression. These are all fantastic things, so you can imagine when you're climbing, and I know it might have been difficult for people at the back, so I'll demonstrate here, when you're climbing, you free, <laughs> you free up your mind because the only thing you can concentrate is on is your body movement and the side of a cliff face. So you can imagine all of these worries, all these anxieties that you have at the bottom of the climb, you can just ball them all up and you can leave them there, concentrating on you, making your way to the top of the summit, like anyone in this room can do. So you leave all your anxieties at the bottom and you're on top of the world.